John had his surgery uh, the other day. Came out real good on him. Had his uh, surgery on Thursday. They had to replace the artery in his neck. Uh, they weren't able to just open it up. They had to take an artery out of his leg and replace the one in his neck. And uh, he told me this morning, I called him before service started, and he said, you know that, I'm not having no pain from the surgery, but my arthritis in my knee is killing me. <laughs> and they won't give me nothing for it because of the surgery. <laughs> and he, uh, he said he would, uh, would, I asked him about calling in the service and having him reach, and he said, well, my throat is so raspy from them having tubes and stuff in, I can't talk very well. So anyhow, he greeted you, said he's doing good. Um, they moved him out of intensive care into a regular room now. And uh, so that means I gotta walk all the way down that hall and all the way down that hall and all the way down that hall to get where they keep people at. So, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyhow, he'll uh, probably get out of the hospital tomorrow. They normally move him to a, another room in between that time, so they'll probably be uh, moving him. Uh, they moved him to that room, so probably he thinks tomorrow he'll get out. They had trouble getting his blood pressure balanced, you know. They want you dead. Uh, <laughs> they want your blood pressure 120 or less over 70. You know, I can't imagine my blood pressure being that low. All I'd want to do is sit in an easy chair and do nothing. You know, they, they had me on blood pressure medicine for a while. And I took that medicine, and I take that medicine, and I just feel like I didn't want to do it anymore. You know, it just made me, you know, I got my blood pressure down to, you know, nothing what they wanted it to be, but it lowered it, and it made me feel like I didn't want to do anything. And so, you know, I thought, I'm not taking that stuff anymore. I, I have to have energy when I get up. You know, even eating my chocolate didn't give me enough energy after taking that stuff. So I quit taking that anyhow. And, uh, you know, but my blood pressure still only runs like five, not five, you know, instead of 130, it's 135 without the blood pressure medicine. But they wanted 120. And I, I can't do that. So anyhow. Um, but I, you know. Uh, that's called it. Yes, I turned 17 Friday, and um, you know, so. Uh, but anyhow, he's only 17. On Facebook the other day, I put that on there. I put it. It's good to turn 17. Oops, I mean 71. So uh, got a lot of comments back from that there. But anyhow, you know, it, it's good. Uh, Denise had her mother help her get me a banana cream pie. They cooked it at home. Gave it to me yesterday afternoon. There's only half of it left. I ate a piece for lunch, I ate a piece for dinner, and I ate a piece for breakfast. <laughs> so half of it's gone. <laughs> and by tonight, uh, that'll be gone, probably. Uh, but I don't know. I uh, have to have a midnight snack or something. We're not going to have service tonight. We're, we've got the dinner this afternoon. Then we're going to go up and see Brother John. And uh, we're having dinner at the D. Grill, but it's self-paid. Um, how many of you are going to go? So I, I told them we had about 30 of us going, coming, but now we've lost some of those people. So you have to pay for your own. It's you know, about $9 a person. Uh, They got some, you know, they got a lot of good stuff out there now that they get used to have. They, yeah, last week they had turkey on the. Uh, I had got this great big turkey leg. Mmm, that was good. You know, I'm sitting there gnawing on a turkey leg like a little kid. You know, like Zion. All right, so all right. Well, I told you we have about thirty, so we're going to be close to that. So that'd be fine. There, we've got the back room reserved. So that, you know, we have that to ourselves. I have our table set up. Uh, somewhere between 1 and 1.30, I told them we'd be in there. And so, um, if we need, uh, if we don't have enough transportation, we, I think we've got enough of people with different cars. If not, we can go out and get the blue van and bring that in. I was going to do that this morning, but uh, we need the Kia to pick people up with too. So, anyhow, we'll all get out there somehow. 
and uh, do that. Uh, the next thing we've got going is the hayride on the 28th, Friday night, and uh, out at our house. And to get there, you go south on Highway 1, Georgetown Road, to uh, Ross Lane, turn left on Ross Lane, go to the second stop sign, turn left again, you go a tenth of a mile and turn right, and keep going until you're in my driveway. Uh, the county road ends, and my gate is at the end of the county road, goes into my uh, yard. And, uh, Don Avenue. Don Avenue was the name of the road, yeah. D-O-N, yeah, not Dawn, Dawn, D-O-N. So, uh, but anyhow, uh, we're going to have hot dogs and uh, marshmallows, uh, and uh, we've got the wagon to do a hay ride. So we'll take you out back down through the country uh, uh, on a hay ride, and uh, so it, it'll be a good time. And uh, Elvis has been piling wood. He's got this great big pile. We'll probably get the cops or the fire department called on us. I mean, he's got, he got stuff piled up that tall out there to burn. So uh, we'll... we'll yeah, definitely going to be a, a, a fire. So, uh, even if it's cold, even if it's cold, you'll be able to uh, stay close enough to that fire that you'll be able to get warm. So, and the weatherman actually said something about the rest of the month being above average. So, uh, we're looking forward to that. We'll have a good time out there. And uh, so, uh, you know, plan on plan on that. That's Friday night, five o'clock. And or you know we'll start any time after that. Well, I don't know when we'll quit, but you know any time after from five on that you want to come, uh, we we'll just have a good time out there. And uh, uh, no, you're not spending the night. <laughs> when it's time to go home, it's time to go home. <laughs> so, you know, some of the young people say, "Can we spend the night?" No, no, no. Not right now. Later on, but not right now. All right, uh, brother. At this time, let's take up our morning tithe and offerings given to the Lord. Brother Smith did tell me that the offerings have been down a little bit, and we need to make sure that uh, the needs of the house are taken care of. If you want it warm in the winter and cool in the summer, then uh, we need to have that. 